Greetings people of Ontario and the world. We began Operation Child Abuse Society to raise awareness of the problems with the Ontario Children's Aid Society. Shortly after the launch of this op, a 14-year-old boy named Jory K. Nelson ran away from his foster parents and posted video of him speaking out about his experience with the CAS. We shared his videos, and after they were removed due to a parent government complaint, we reposted them. They were again taken down. In the interest of freedom of speech and internet neutrality, we give you what they do not want you to see. We give you all of the videos Joy and his sister released online. But ask yourself, what do the CAS want to hide by censoring them? This video will be uploaded and posted until a full inquiry is made into this case. We will not go away. We will take action to see the voice of the innocent pleading for help is not stamped out by the self-serving boots of corruption and greed. Join us on June 5th as we gather in protest against the corrupt child protection systems of the world. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. CAS, expect us. Hi, my name is Joey Knelson. I'm the foster child of Tina Tube. I, th I think it was on Monday morning, me and my foster mom Tina Tube, we got into an argument. And she started to get mean and started to yell. And as she was yelling, the other foster kids left the room, which was PJ Smith and Rochelle Dupe. And as they left the room, she slapped me and she said that she doesn't give a fuck if, if I run away. And as the day went on, when, when lunch struck, I ran, I ran away. I am sick and tired of the emotionally and physically abuse. Um, to my other siblings, when I go to visits, they're full of scratches and bruises. Here, I'll mention them. Arnold, Ben, Helen, Mina, Tina, Martin, William, and Luca. And a little baby. Which I forget her name because, which... Um, CAS didn't inform me. They never. They did. They said that my mother didn't have another baby, and which my brother Arnold told me that they did. So my worker Carrie Anderson lied to me, and so I I'm asking for help. So goodbye. Okay, sorry about that. I had to write it down because I'm really bad at forgetting what I say in videos. Okay, so continuation of the first video. As I was saying, before I and my other nine siblings are sick, are sick of the emotional and physical abuse in the foster home care, the children a totally destroyed our lives. They are trying to destroy everything my biological parents ever had. What the fuck are their problems? I called the news station. I think it was at around 11 o'clock in Simcoe. And as they told me that I had to go to the police. Well, what the fuck? I, well, well, the I don't, I don't call to the police anymore because I think it was last year my foster dad strangled me and I went to the police station and they didn't do anything about it. All me and my nine siblings want is for us all to be together and to go to my biological parents' house, as it was two and a half years ago, permanently. My real parents are the best parents ever. We want to go home. Hi, it's Joey again. The point that, that I'm telling my story is that I want the CES and the police to be exposed to the public to who they truly are. It seems like the CES and the cops are trying so hard to keep my mouth sealed so the truth doesn't get out to the public. I've contacted my real parents and they told me that the police and the CES workers have raided their, their house and my, also my sister's house trying to look for me. But instead of putting my criminalistic 
foster parents in prison, which are Tina and Ricky Dupay. Now, the, now they're trying to frame my real parents for kidnapping me, which, you know, I haven't seen about two and a half years, which I haven't seen in two years, to, to, um, to mom, dad, brothers, and sisters. I love you so, I love you so very much, and I hope we will be all reunited. I'm doing this for myself, and and for those kids who are in foster care. The law is failing to tell the truth. Like, how, how can they ignore a kid when they're getting abused by their foster parents? Like, it doesn't make any sense. And I'm also doing this because all, I want all the foster kids to be heard around, in, around the world. The sea has, has entirely destroyed my real parents' lives. On September 14, 2012 was the worst day of my life. The CES and the cops have, had came to my school and my real parents' house and took us children by dragging us, uh, us to their cars like dead animals. The kids were screaming, Mommy, Daddy, help me. My parents did what they could, but felt helpless. The, then the children's aide stole us. My sister's Kristen's video, Kristen's, that was video, caught her family tragedy on camera. The police in CS stole her one-year-old son based on speculations, which there was no investigation done at all, no proof. And here's a video of them s stealing her baby. So you'll have That's what would happen. My little sister got molested in your care. Exactly what would happen. Who knows what's going to happen to Victor now. You guys are all going to be at guilt for it too. I know, buddy. I know, but you got me. I love you. You're going to be strong when you're big, okay? Yeah. Yeah. 
Daddy. Okay, Daddy loves you too, okay? The government has now taken the video off of YouTube many times because they are trying to hide the truth. Even though the children have the children have to suffer suffer now in hell. My sister home video is clearly proof of what the children A do every day to the best parents and happiest children in the world. The CS take children from heaven and and put them in hell. I want the media to to stop hiding the truth. No one will ever find me until my family is reunited again. Until I see you. Goodbye. Hi, it's Joe again, the, monster, the mi missing foster child. The news is still failing to tell the truth. I may be living in the streets, but it's, it's better than any foster home that could ever be. My, my, uh, me and my other nine siblings want to go home. To our real home. If I could go to my parents, the police will catch me and put me back into a criminalistic foster home. And then they'll hide the truth. I'm okay, but I'm on with withdraw from the many drugs the CS have me and my other nine siblings on. After all, the more problems are with the children, the, the more the CAS get. I feel so helpless knowing that my other siblings are in foster care getting foster care getting raped, drugged, and beat. They are they are food, clothing, and money deprived. Um, foster kids are nothing more than an ATM machine to the court, law, and the children aid. I will never trust the OPP, law, court, and CAS. September 14th, 2012, when we all got stolen by the CS, also a CS worker, threw me down a flight of stairs because I said I didn't want to go with them. Then OPB grabbed me by the, grabbed me, grabbed the back of my neck, picked me up and threw me into the police car. People watched but didn't do anything. I also don't trust the CS core OP, OPB because my little sister got molested by a 14 year old foster kid on Donna Legrani's watch, which is my foster, which is my sister, his sister's foster mom. After my sister got molested in CAS care, they hid it and framed my real brother for it. And now, and now he's been registered as a sex offender. The CS in court covered their at own asses and ruined my family's life tw uh, once again. My real parents have been trying to prove their case om for almost three years with the best evidence in the world. But I know that Judge Baker and Shear would have gotten huge sums of money for, from the CES just so my real parents would lose everything they ever had and so that the CES could get richer. Canada Court Watch, please contact my parents so they can tell you the whole uh, truth of the story so that the truth can get out. The CES have ruined my entire life. I am physically, emotionally sick. My wish is to have my entire family reunited and reunited again. For the CS to be judged for who they for their wrongdoing. Let's help get all the kids in foster care heard. Bye. You have reached the Children's Aid Society of Hamilton.